Hello everyone, Shrog here and welcome to this What Is tutorial video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Aris Noil Etches. They're very simple things but essential for any Minecraft redstoner. So, uh, let's get started. Um, in front of me I have a one of the most simplest Aris Noil Etch, Aris Noil Etch designs around. Um, Aris Noil Etches are very, well very basic effectively. Um, and they're based around alternating the power of uh, the redstone current so currently it's set in off state or zero when we flick this lever it will trigger uh, this torch here and turn it off because uh, it was currently receiving no power since it is now off this torch can turn on because previously it was powered by this torch now since this torch is on it will now power this torch the previous torch and it thus locking it into this kind of state uh, the only way to get it back to normal or to zero state because currently it's one is by resetting it or by powering this block here with this torch on it so there we go Re we reset it and it's back at zero so we we can cycle this endlessly in no matter what we do, it will hold its state. Now, of course, it won't hold its state if you break it, but generally that's the case with most redstone things. Anyway, uh, there are m there is a, a massive amount of designs for these things. So, uh, one of them, in particular, being this design here. Uh, this has been around for over a year and a half now. More than a year and a half, actually. Probably around two years now. So, it's a it's a very popular design as well. Now it works effectively the same way as this, it's just it cuts out the repeater or the needed use of a repeater. So there we go, we've got it set and now we can reset it. Now we can set it and reset it. So that is what an RS Snow Latch is. Alright, so let's give an example of this RS null latch device that we have seen. So, note, um, I should actually say that uh, this might get interesting. Um, so, um, you walk into this room and you're like, oh shoot, there's creepers. What do we do? The exit is locked off and in a real survival situation we would be dead by now. Oh Jesus is gonna fall. We need to find them. The, the door. Oh jeez, but the creepers have relocked the door because there is a pressure pad outside it and they've obviously stepped on it. So, as you can see, don't use creepers as traps. They just are not a good idea. Um, so I'm actually just going <laughs> to switch it back to peaceful. Alright, so uh, that particular trap, which is almost impossible to get out of live. See, that's what was meant to happen. It was meant to close up and you're meant to walk out. But of course, I didn't expect there to be that many creepers. Yeah. Okay, Um. anyway, so underneath it we have the pressure pad powering this Iris Snorlatch directly and this here is just a piston to lock you in. Um, and then the reset wire is coming all the way down into the Iris Snorlatch. Now this is actually feeding up here into this clock. You see uh, when we uh, when we turn it on the clock starts up because there's no power powering this uh, clock. Thus, that means it can, this torch can turn on and this will cycle indefinitely. And yeah, it just that's how it works. So uh, sorry for the strange example. I wasn't expecting it to work quite like that. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching the video. I hope you learned about RS Null Latches and what they do and how to use them. Uh, there are many more complicated methods of using them. But yeah, uh, so. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel like it. I don't like saying that, but okay. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.